<laughs> I wish I grabbed two more Gatorade. Yeah, it's a good thing to have when you got time of troubles. <sighs> Alright, uh, so... Last time on Royal Calum, uh, not too much to re uh, capture. Our group headed southeast to handle some cannibals, but they were not yet quite finished here, so we're just, uh, finishing off on that end, and I guess we'll see what happens with their small group. I guess that's about as much as I need to recap. Well. Alright, uh, Dragon isn't here. Oh, he wasn't at the top of the turn order anyway, so... I guess that would make sense just to skip his turn, just because it would be the top of the turn order, I guess, anyway. I don't remember if he went last at the end of the session or whatever. Alright, yeah, so I'll start with... Hold on, what's, what's Dungeons & Dragons? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we're gonna start with, uh, Tally's turn. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Oh, yeah, they're vampire cannibals. <laughs> we are in the midst of a... of a feral person fight with us kicking ass. Well... Oh, and I'm... Oh, well. I'm flanking with you. Shoot a twice at the dude in front of me. Uh, put you. Ugh. Uh, put you. Alright, <laughs> both hit. Activating disruptor. So. Pinky purple energy beam charges up on the first shot, but not the second. Right. Do do, and I believe that's that. All right, Nakamura. Hey. Hey there. How do you call all these enemies should also be fairy fired? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, there's yeah, some. The, uh, the, the, the assembled guys are all fairy fired still. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, what are the buffs? What are the debuffs here? I use different symbols, but I'm pretty sure they're all just fire, uh, fairy fired. Well, that's confusing. Yeah, they're all fairy fired, and I am mirror imaged and blurred. Just for catching up on my character. Oh, that's right. This was your character, and then we had our our Nami noms over here. Okie doke. So it's my turn, I'm going to move There we go, okay, perfect Sure. I'm gonna move here. As a reaction, I will move here. I'm going to attack. Blue. Uh. 
I believe you said they are not wearing metal. So, but very fire grants me. Where's that? I think you're fading in and out a bunch. Yeah, Gypsy, your mic's fading in and out a little bit. Well, that's a hit with advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is indeed a hit with advantage. Uh... You said they're fairy fired, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit them for. Uh, Do it. Uh, plus 1d6 sneak attack damage. Hey. God damn. Good rolls, good rolls. Who takes 18? Delete that guy. Yeah. Good. Good. And uh, then I'm going to attack red. Okay. What? <laughs> eh. Almost the same rolls. Easy math. Whoops. Ten to red. And then I'm going to... Unleash Incarnation and attack Orange. Hey. That hits. Uh, 14 lightning damage orange. Okay. Get rid of that one. <laughs> nice. Oh. And then, um, as a bonus action, I will shoot with my gun from the Echo's space at red. Using my gunslinger feet. With advantage. Sure, that hits. And this is piercing damage rather than lightning damage. Eight piercing damage. Blam. Just making sure I get the right one. Okay. And that's my turn. And my echo stayed within 30 feet of me. Okay. Arthur, it's to you. I'm going to level my gun at go. the back of this, uh, Dude's head, and my third fire is going to make my attack a normal roll because I am within melee. He's enraged, so no advantage for me. Uh, that's not a good No. Not enough. Huh? Uh, not enough. Mm. Unbelievable. Uh, Come on, guys. 
Come on, dice! Oh, that's, that's how I got. Trip. Just you wait. Fucking right. sharpshooter. Fuck off, sharpshooter, you piece of shit. <laughs> I only have our two enemies remaining from left to right. Uh, let me get my. Where's my dice roller here? Uh, one's gonna attack Arthur. I'm not gonna attack non people who are here. I think that'd be odd to do. Hmm. Uh, that's how many are missing. Or I am blurred. I, but I, I assume that 17 doesn't hit anyway. <laughs> 17 could hit in magical Christmas land. <laughs> <laughs> well, the red one's gonna t attempt to attack Nakamura here. Oh, come on. With it was a melee range of me. Wouldn't you rather attack someone else? <laughs> um, I could have sworn they did. <laughs> they had a what? Didn't they have a bonus to hit? That's just a d20. Oh, I think I gave them a plus one or two. I forgot, honestly. I don't know. You were, you were giving you, them you a... They have a one in 19... Or one in 20 chance to hit me. <laughs> you, were giving, you were giving them a plus two, if I remember correctly. You can just scroll up and look at the attack rolls you rolled for them. Uh, let's see. B -b 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 Looks like a plus two to me. Yeah, it was a plus two. So that 17 would have just been a 18, 19. Which I think still missed anyway. And then 14, 15 to Nakamura instead. 15 is a miss. Alright, so those two missed anyway. My mine is 17. Alright. Alright, Fleetwood. Fleetwood Merc is on the attack. And... No, is Storm here? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry, I had to step away real quick. Um... I'm right here! Can you hear me? Am I, Am I coming through? God fucking damn it. Mm. Oh, the drill. Curse blowed. Uh, here the input. Okay, now am I coming back? Hey. Oh, God. Hey. There we go. Okay, my mic, or my headphones ran out of battery, so. Oops. All right. All right, smackety smack, Fleetwood goes in for the attack. Flankety flank, you're about to be spanked. With advantage as well. With advantage. Uh. Hurrah! 22 to hit. Hey. Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna do a 3, and then I'm gonna do an extra D6. Get that turn order out of the way. And, uh, spank! Going to do that uh, sick nine points of damage as I take my uh, my war crime of a sword and give him a big old poke in the butt. Well, that poke in the butt makes him bleed out. Yeah! Not legally, I mean, of course, right? No! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, totally. We used restraint here. With the war crime? No. <laughs> <laughs> With my four shotguns put into one sword? No. <laughs> it's listen. You can, better luck next time. Uh. Mm. And do I have anything? No, I used up my action search. Damn. Um.
Hey, Tom, we're hearing some music. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay. Can't really do anything about that on my end right now. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Since Solius is going to end up going next, I'm just going to uh, pick up his uh, sheet. Uh, let's see. I assume he uses his mall all the time out of the things I'm seeing on this list here. Probably. Oh, is that your turn now, by the way, Fleetwood? Oh, did his mic fail again? Um, oh. Technical Oh no. His mic also has an effect on it. <laughs> uh, Storm? I'm a storm. I have to cut the recording and then re-enable. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sitting on the floor like a peasant. Oh. Okay. Yes, that was turned. Alright, so I'll just... I, I think Asolius attacks twice. I don't think he gets three attacks on his turn. Pretty sure he attacks. That... Yeah, he attacks twice, and he has he re attacks recklessly. Although he has advantage anyway. So he probably wouldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. Alright. Uh, so I'll just click that, and then just do it again. There you go. There you go. Oh. Alright, so let me grab my calculator and find this guy's health. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Let's see, he did that. And then this. Okay. All settled on Solius' turn. Uh, uh, let's see. Silver's turn. Let me pull up his sheet. Let me figure out if I can figure this character out. Uh, I gotta admit, I am rather intrigued by this weird circus music I keep hearing in the background. <laughs> I think it's like something from Final Fantasy or something. Oh. Uh, I think he can, I think he does like. Seems like a rogue, if I remember correctly. So he can, like, he can, like, come in and out, right? He shoots with his laser gun, usually. Let's make it right. Does he also have... Uh, he has Hunter's Mark, doesn't he? Uh, let's see. Uh... No, he's just full rogue. Oh. No, he just... Yeah. He, he uses the brace thing. But he doesn't need to because he has advantage. But, yeah, I'm, uh, seeing, I'm seeing like full rogue stuff here. Okay. Yeah, he just shoots Lazor. All right, so I'll, just, I'll I'll like keep him there, but I'll, I'll attack up close. So presumably this is them like moving in and out, you know, oh. that whole shtick. All right, so uh, let me do that attack. That whole kit and Oh, weird. Okay, that worked. No, I think that's the. I think he gets one attack, right? As a rogue. And then he can. Like, his bonus action would be to, like, disengage or whatever. 
if I remember all that correctly. Yeah, it's free action to disengage. And then he just moves on out. Alright, Tally, it's to you. Well, I'll go ahead and line up in the shop. So I can blast him. Oh, yeah, there we go. How about you? Oh, that advantage on these guys? Nice, yeah, you would have hit him anyway. Yeah, See if we can get that natural 20, why not? <laughs> you never yeah. know. Oh, no, well. Yeah. And this time with advantage. Okay, yeah. those both hit. That's a shield with a disruptor. <sighs> Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that was cleared easily. Oh, <laughs> I did not select him. Whoops, I had the wrong thing. I had the rule selected. There we go. I guess she's still technically set to stun, so that one's like knocked out, not dead. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming we've been killing the other ones, or you guys have. Not Nakamura. Fair enough. <laughs> Fleetwood is just covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're cannibals. Alright, you've cleared the, can the rest of the cannibals anyway at this rate. Target's neutralized. The ones who... How many of them got knocked out with non-lethal? At least one. <laughs> Uh, I think Nakamura took out two of them. Three. Three. Total. No, total. Can we take those three in for, like, a bounty? Uh, yeah, you could, like, set up a bounty thing. Like, I did talk about that, I think, at a time... Or, but that was, like, for more, like, high-end bounty stuff. But, yeah, you can, like, set that up. Okay, I didn't know whether or not we could take these guys into the police or FBI oh, no, well, or... Not, a, not, like, an official, like... It'd probably have to be, like, an underground bounty thing or something more oh. along those lines in the slums anyway. Uh -huh. Or, like, assassins. Hmm. Alright, alright. Not even sure if Fleetwood would know how to go about doing that, but... Let's see here. Well, Fleetwood is gonna do... Uh... I, I'm supposing whenever Nakamura sheets his sword, he does the Yamamoto, the Yamato thing that uh, Virgil does in Devil May Cry. Exactly. Fleetwood. Now is, you're getting it. Fleetwood is gonna imitate that, but with uh, the Abomination sword. Just. Perfect. And uh. Um. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm trying to get into the Fleetwood voice, but my throat is scarred up. Um. I'm, fuck it. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try to do the accent. Nakamura. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm, sorry. How much? How much do you think we could get per cannibal if we throw these guys into the slammer? Um, can I make a roll to, uh... Yeah, I'll say, you a remember... For, you remember this, uh, the, the uh, police had left here, at least the slums. Yeah. So, yeah, at least it, in, in an official capacity, there doesn't seem to be 
any meaningful way to do that here. Yeah, Nakamura, Nakamura kind of like quirks his eyebrow, gives a shrug, and and uh, says, "Who oh, exactly do you think has the funds and the the system set up for that kind of thing?" Fleetwood uh, quietly rubs his chin. I don't know. We could probably check uh, places like Greg's List and uh, G Bay. I don't know. I, I've never handed over cannibals before. I haven't that heard is. that name in 50 years. <laughs> Not since the great online marketplace wars. He's Craig. There's plenty of wars. <laughs> A lot of wars. <laughs> yes. Like the Disney Wars, the online wars. There's there, there goes was, on and on. There was the, so meme, that, the great meme wars. So we are taking these cannibals to Craig? Spirit descendants. I don't know. I mean, I just kind of assumed. We were getting paid to deal with cannibals, right? We, we we are, for humanitarian reasons, investigating cannibals attacking people. Nod, nod, nod. In order to help people. Because helping people is good. That is right. Helping people okay. is good. <laughs> By removing, okay. by removing flesh-eating cannibals. Yeah. So, uh, let's try and find out if these guys have any kind of boss or anything. Thinking of, I just gotta do a quick thing. Uh, let me put these here. Wait, do they <laughs> do they have uh, any sort of identification, like, pockets or anything on them? Or are they just naked, like... <laughs> well, I don't think we were fighting naked cannibals, but I, I mean, you never know. They had like pretty basic rags, all things considered. Okay, okay, double checking. Uh, let's see. Let me make some. I was trying to figure here. out what level we were dealing with, whether it was like raider level of clothing or ghoul level of clothing we were dealing with. Let's see, add that one. <laughs> Alright, take the rags. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, just uh, Let's put this one down here in the corner. Oh, I think I was, you, uh, if it's a corner one, that's typically for like, uh, just, uh, tracking, like, on the turn order. Yes. I remember you said that last time. You stuffed him down there. Fact is, you're a token master. All right. Crunch, crunch. I suppose we should check out their abodes. Fleetwood does big air quotes. Just to make sure there's not anybody tied up or anything. There's a on my body. You're going to blow slightly, and I am using my, uh, what is it called? Uh, arcane recovery. To get back in the <sighs> I'm all set on my end. Adjusting, I had to adjust for a few things there on my end. Anyway. What's going on? I want to make sure I'm on the loop. So what are you guys checking for exactly? Checking their domiciles, their residences, their hiding holes to find anything else or more of them, perhaps? Uh, as you do... Oh, what was that? Nakamura? Go ahead. Oh, you can go. There we go. 
Alright, uh, as you were checking these nearby, I guess we'll call them, uh, houses, and that's in a, in a questionable way, I suppose. Not uh, really that well built around any area in the slums, but there are some average, like, there'd be, like, I, I would, like, throw a few, like, average NPC male and female, like, like, actual just humans around here that have been, like, hiding in the inside parts of the buildings. Yeah, the, these weren't the, uh, these cannibals were wandering and attacking. I don't think they were, I don't think we assaulted a stronghold. We just found a pack of them. Okay, okay. I was wanting to see if there was any, like, wallet or identification left behind that we could turn into somebody. Yeah. You got any magic that can read minds or anything like that? Uh, do I have? If it's on a speak with dead or let me check what I got. It ain't much, but it's something. You got that fucked up. Wait, wait. Arcane recovery. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> I could access... Wait. God damn it. Oh yeah, you do have arcane recovery. You can get back a spell slot. Uh, okay. spell slot of that level. Uh, number of that. Do, 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 do. It's just one. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could, um, swap out one of my spells prepped. For, because I have access to cleric spells. Ah. Uh, well, we can tie up the cannibals and check in the morning, if you need to prepare something. If you want to prepare something else. Not. Not. No, no truth. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, that probably sounds like my only option right now. Let me grab my my lappy top. Let's see what, oh no, not by the screen. Right, how about you, robots? You got anything? You got any non-lethal, non-horrifying interrogation tactics? Um, uh, I. I don't know how well it would work. I could cast friends. <laughs> <laughs> friends. Uh, um, I don't think that works as quite as well after. I'm the wake up. You have advantage on all charisma checks. That's it. <laughs> uh, it's something. Right, so. You could have just check that fucked up book. <laughs> yeah. Fleetwood. <laughs> what was that? I mean, it's a spell book. Don't you have a magic book? <laughs> the one that's permanently so, stuck in my backpack? Yes, I do. <laughs> so that you're literally it. not willing to put get rid of. The one that I that can, one? the one I can physically not remove from myself. Yes, the one that I promised to put like on a nice spot on the shelf, but then when I tried to, it would not go away. I mean, somebody else could remove it from you. Mm. Come on, mm. whirling blades and saws. I could remove it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with Fleetwood, you'd probably just have to, like, take it and hold it, like, at chest height. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs> there now. Let's be nice. <laughs> Wasn't going to say anything about you being a robot, but I mean... Alright, um... Hmm... <clears throat> I don't think... 
I don't... The only power that I know that the book has right now, as a player, is that it boosted the mint, the mental stats. And, um... Let you have a little fireside chat. <laughs> You don't have third level spells. <laughs> I don't have the ability to cast third level spells. No. <laughs> ha! I'm not, I'm not that sort of caster. <laughs> no, you only know first level spells, I believe. And second. I've got second level spell slots. Well, holy. Detect that the second level. I'm looking at all my cleric stuff. Uh, You're part wizard, right? Part wizard, part cleric. Yeah, so new spells can get written in your wizard book. Mm -hmm. Only you had. All right. I'll start. I'll start looking through uh, Theodore's book then. I'll start seeing what juicy tidbits he had lying around in his book. Unfortunately, it does have the same effect every time you read it. <laughs> oh no, it pulls me into the Theodore dimension. So what are we, uh, we attempting to do currently with him? Uh, I believe you see Fleetwood trying to think of his options, and then he pulls out... Um, was it a leather tome, or was it like this big like ornate grimoire? It's a little black book, moleskin. Uh, okay. You just see him pull out this little black book from his backpack, and all of a sudden, um, like an ADHD child hyper-focusing, he just goes from opening it up to five inception levels deep. <laughs> Pupils get huge. Start drooling. Oh. No. <laughs> you your shoulder. <laughs> Uh, the, if you try to read over your shoulder, it just looks really blurry. <laughs> it's busy. I need to make three rolls. No, <laughs> Nakamura it. looks over and is like, I thought he. I thought he. What are we gonna get rid of that thing? Oh god. Uh, yeah, I think it's Charisma first. Hang on. Oh god, I have it saved somewhere. Give me a second. <laughs> I just hope this thing isn't the Bible black. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, the energy I could uh, I could definitely feel it's very low this week. Charisma, then God, I don't remember what you rolled last time. Charisma, wisdom, and intelligence. Is that save or check? Um. I think it's saving throws. Yeah. Presto. Intelligence. Wisdom. Yeah. Charisma. Yeah. Let me check my thing. Oh, God. Is this the most recent version? I think so. One of us is tired. One of us has been puking to the point where my throat's scarred up. <laughs> For the love of God, we need the two androids to carry us through. Um, the damn didn't have a lot planned. Oh boy, what a what a what a session. <laughs> we could be side by side. Is there a combat arena we could go to, perchance? <laughs> there, there, was one <laughs> there was one previously occupied. <laughs> we, by we turned it into a ch children's. Orphanage. Haven. <laughs> <laughs> We're not lying. <laughs> we'll take it to you. We'll take it. Listen, it was a bunch of kids fighting to the death. It was not... We don't... It wasn't good. I think I referred to it... To my... Referred to my co-workers as Little Detroit at one point. 
god, I need to make this bigger. Ah, fuck. So, Mr. Oh, three, are you in there? I'm coming in. Hey, Ron, I'm reading the instructions. <laughs> I hope you're decent. Um, roll another intelligence check. Hey, Theodore, you got any ho hos? I mean, save. Well, that's some little Debbie snack cakes. Okay, cool. Uh, yep. Yeah, the words on the page once again draw you in with their non-Euclidean geometry and everything goes black until your eyes adjust to find yourself back in that same room. Theodore has moved to a different spot and looks up from yet another tome that he's reading and smiles at you, pleasantly surprised. Oh, you're back already. So <laughs> Sup, indeed, seems that you lot have been not very busy. I, I beg to differ, we've, uh... Well, we, we just a got dragon. We just got done, yeah, we fought a dragon, we, we just got done stabbing some cannibals. Yes, lots of distractions, running errands for that group of... Deceivers, but uh, what can I do for you today, Fleetwood? Hmm. I could use a little bit of help expanding out this spell list as he holds out his, uh, his, uh, three ring binder. Oh, now that I am uniquely suited for, what exactly is it that you are uh, hoping to dabble in? I need to make some people that we, uh, unalived, uh, a little more chattative. You know. Like, uh... Murmur with cadaver? Oh, speaking with the dead. Uh, mm -hmm. Or drawing thoughts out of the living. Beyond mm -hmm. me. Uh, well, that's a couple of extra steps with resurrection and recalling the soul to bring thought back to the body to clean. Uh, all the people you're wanting to question dead. Uh, I mean, some are, some are. Uh, some not. Uh, I mean, they're... they're There's some that are, that are alive. They're sleeping. Well, and then Theodore looks over you with his two glowing yellow eyes and this sort of makes a, a bit of a uh, face. You haven't really been focusing on your magic as much as I would hope. Bringing back the dead might be a bit beyond you at the moment. Mm. I could potentially temporarily grant you that knowledge, but it wouldn't last very long. However, if you were wanting to pry into the minds of the living, that seems a little bit more your speed right now. Maybe if you focus more on your wizardly studies exclusively, instead of all of this ring around the wizardry patch. <laughs> I think next level I get a level in cleric. Well, again, I can only temporarily grant you that knowledge for now. However, if you wanted, I could put the spell for reading living minds into your book. Oh yeah, that'd be great. I mean, I probably don't want to read the minds of everyone in the slum, but you know... Well, as long as you learn to direct it properly, which will be in the instructions, give me your, well, currently it's just a mental manifestation of your book, but once I write it in it, it will be written in your mind, and then you can write it in your own book. Sick. 
he holds his hand out for your spellbook. <laughs> <laughs> Hands him the three ring binder. I mm. hand him the trapper keeper. Trapping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, conjures himself a pen and begins meticulously writing in his lovely script a, uh, a spell for detect thoughts. Which uh, you will know when you awake and can inscribe into your spell book for. I guess some time spent, and I don't know how Tom wants to handle magic ink materials <laughs> and paper. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, like wizard scribing spells. Yeah, I'll give it to him. It's okay. fine. Well, if you don't write it down, you'll probably forget it. <laughs> he passed some saves. Yeah, Damn. and uh, yeah. I see. Your trapper keeper. I do appreciate <laughs> you continuing to bring me along on your little adventures. It is a nice little diversion to me to see what you all are up to, though. I do hope you'll start thinking a little bit more for yourselves and he hands the trapper keeper back to you. I mean, I did try to put you up on a shelf, but you're not just something inside me said I just couldn't get rid of you. <laughs> well, why would you want to? I'm being so helpful right now, aren't I? I mean, I, I did make a promise, and a Fleetwood promise is a promise that'll eventually get taken care of, but y y you know. Fleetwood, it was more of a compromise, really. Hmm. You know what they wanted. <laughs> anyway, if that's all you need to know for now, then you're free to go. Oh, sweet. I'll, just, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lock the door behind me. Go Lovely to visit with you. He leaves his fingers and everything sort of starts to bleed away from your vision until you can see reality again. <laughs> and you know the spell. And the exact conversation is a little bit fuzzy, but you definitely remember the spell. <laughs> I'm back. You were somewhere? It's only been a few moments. Ugh. Yeah, well, you know what they say about diving into a good book. <laughs> right. Anyways, <laughs> I think <laughs> I have learned... What, what do they say? I think I have learned... To delve into the deepest reaches of one's mind and read their surface thoughts. Oh, <laughs> oh that's what they say. Okay. Sure. sure. <laughs> you still with their tactic? Oh. My mouse is double clicking. There we go. Well, I mean, now. I should be able to see whether or not these guys have a hideout, like a main, yeah, I don't know, penthouse or something. I'm also, sure. you can just add detect yeah. spots, no spells. You just click yeah, you can just like. You should be able to just add it, like throw it up on there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just clicked and dragged it into Fleetwood Cheat. Oh. All right. Um, let me see here. All right. Can Fleetwood give this a try? Yes. You have the spell slots. I have one one second level spell slot left. That is what is required. Alright. Self. Self. Concentration up to one minute for the duration. You can read the thoughts of certain creatures. When you cast a spell and as your action each turn, blah blah blah. If their intelligence is three or lower, or don't speak any language, the creature is unaffected. 
I am assuming these cannibals have an intelligence higher than three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I could pro if you probe deeper. Oh, uh, if it fails, you gain insight into its reasoning. All right. Let's see. Let me read that part. If you probe deeper, the target missile wisdom saving throw got it. All right. It's emotional fate and something looms larger in its mind. Detective Nakamura, do you got your notepad ready? Always. Unsheathes his notepad. <laughs> like, this, I hope he unsheathes the same way that he does his katana. <laughs> unsheathes the notepad. Props the notepad up. And then, like, holds his pen, pen lid in his left hand and the pen in the right hand, ready to EI Jutsu write the <laughs> notes down. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's ready. All right. So, after you go, oh, go ahead. Fleetwood is going to look at the notes scribbled down in his Trapper Keeper. And I'm trying to think of, um... Oh, God. Um... No, wait, that'd be a song name for Clairvoyance. Um... Can't get you out of my mind. Oh, fuck it. I'll think of something later when I'm not... <laughs> when I'm not nauseous. Fleetwood will begin to cast his spell, Detect Thoughts. As he zip zoop got a bloop. And he shall read the mind of this unconscious cannibal before him. Alright, so what you can gleam from a baseline is that these uh, cannibals have been a at this probably for at least 10 years or so. Jesus so. Christ! live in that cannibal lifestyle. <laughs> so that also does tell you that they always, they haven't always been like this, which is interesting to note. Um, and that they do seem to be uh, more dedicated in the southern region, so you've probably taken out like the last remaining of them. Like They just haven't been thriving uh, that well, even in this area. God damn it, cannibalistic PewDiePie. Being an influencer on the youth of today. <laughs> no, come on, I can, I can see that they've... That they've been eating people for at least ten years now. But they didn't always used to be like this. They came from... You said the south, right? Yes, yeah, the area. What, what happened? What happened to them ten years ago? Uh, uh, let me let me focus my 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 brain eye into their brain. Uh oh. What? Oh, OBS disconnected and reconnected. Uh. Mine. I, I don't oh. think I stopped streaming. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. I, I should still be streaming on my end. Maybe. Anyway, uh, that was scary. Uh, let's Release see. your thought secrets to me, man eater. Sorry. Uh, could you. Oh, there we go. Uh, could you uh, re say that? Because that kind of just popped up and freaked me out a little bit. I am going to. <laughs> I keep thinking. Uh, I keep thinking CPR, but Fleetwood's forehead to their forehead. Like. Bring your thoughts to me! Pow, pow, pow. Ah, hey, uh, more than a feeling. More than a feeling. And you, but what were you trying to gleam further than the ten-year thing? Is what I was asking about. Um, what were they like bef uh, before this tit, like ten-year period? Like who? Uh, who's this devious one that brought them into the folds of? Man flesh. Exactly. There doesn't seem to be any one of them that seems to stick out as a leader per se. They just seem to have 
congregated here and just happened to come upon each other. Oh. Oh, so it was like a tribe that just moved north. And it was like, we're low on supplies and um, yummy, yummy, get that person in my tummy. Yeah. Oh, they went full Donner party. Hmm. Well, I got good news and bad news. Mm -hmm. uh, the bad news is there doesn't seem to be anyone who kind of convinced them to do that. The bad news is it seems like they all just collectively decided that um, that long pork was just as good as bacon. Uh. <laughs> that makes a grimace. I was kind of hoping there was some kind of supernatural explanation. Well, if that's the case, I don't really think we can leave these guys. Potentially, uh, desperate times call for desperate actions, and then they fell into the groove. Maybe. I don't know, is there like a halfway house for eating people that we can take them to a support group? If not, Hexadecimal <laughs> A? <laughs> if not, points. The best we can do is animal. bring them to the footsteps of the city and... <laughs> Cannibals Anonymous. Knock on the front door of the wall. And leave. <laughs> Dude, that would be hilarious. How many other rep how many representatives do you think they'll eat before they finally <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Nakamura's like, wait, but actually <laughs> let's do this. Dude, right. No no no. Think about like you know the way you know the way in those old movies like the police would like come to the scene of the crime and all the guys would be webbed up and there'd be a note saying you know courtesy of your friendly neighborhood spider-man or whatever bro dude what if we like string these guys up outside the city walls they're like they're like completely tied up at the ankles at the wrists and everything with like a note saying syndicate x dude you know That's yes. something you can do. S S S yes. Syndicate X is defending. Yes. Where the city does not. Oh my god, who's going? You know, and just like make a little message of it. Like, see these guys? They're not eating people anymore because of us. And it's just like this mysterious thing. Who's Syndicate X? What's Syndicate? What was that? Who's that? Well, how'd that happen? You know what I mean? I have rope. I have Ooh. Fleetwood has the rope out. Unless anyone's got, like, secret webbing powers they haven't told us about. I do not have webbing powers. I'm afraid not. Does anyone else have webbing powers? Check no. You, everyone, check. You got some webs you shoot out of you, uh, Tally? Everyone, check your thorax. It's a possibility if you desire it. I, I have desires. I, I can store them in my chest cavity. <laughs> 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 I mean, don't kill them. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to killing them, but... Tally's chest has already opened up with her weird transmogrifier beam. Gonna teleport in a giant wolf spider and then teleport herself out. Oh, my friend. Oh, oh the playback of... Woman screaming. <laughs> spider. Giant wolf spider. Web sense. Web walker. Has a paralyzing poison. Oh my Wait, god. Do yes. They don't? Tally. Oh, can I milk... Th <laughs> can I milk you for spider venom? I'm web sense. Web walker. They don't actually... It doesn't actually list a mechanic way for them to generate their own webs. 
You know what? I think this is far too fun to let up, so I'll say I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I just like cool, the idea that cool, it's the same kind cool. of adhesive that they use for mending wounds. Yeah. Except you just you're just applying way too much of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, don't get it in their eyes. Alright, so Tally has just become a giant mechanical spider. Who so, uh, how long does detect thoughts wait detect thoughts work a lot? <laughs> anyway, she can't talk otherwise. Spider noises. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the spider. I'm. I'm sure we understand what's going on. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I'm just going to tell the local civilians that um, the cannibals have been neutralized. Direct. Give them directions uh, to my office if yeah. you know they see any other trouble or problems. Oops. Uh, uh, the civilian. While you're talking. Are you a cannibal? Uh, he, like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, daintily opens the door. He kind of, like, only, because the way the door frame is, like, opened up, he'll only be able to see Nakamura, kind of, and you'd be, like, Good. almost behind the door, Arthur, because of how it's, like, swinging out that way. Uh, he kind of yeah, trepidatiously uh, <laughs> answered, oh, there you go. Um, oh, he kind of, uh, goes, what? What's going on? I'm going to make an attempt to, um, persuade this person. Just to foster good faith and friendship. Just kind mm -hmm. of, uh... <laughs> there have been some bad people wandering around here. You realize this, right? It's why you were h hiding... I mean, yeah, we've been bunkered down here for, I don't know how long, probably like a week or so, maybe? Well, never fear, well, citizen. Oh, good. My friends and I, we, we took care of them. I don't think you're going to have to worry anymore about them. He will swoop. The old. Wait, that's wrong. That's the wrong uh, skill. <laughs> I've received them. <laughs> He's just staring <laughs> very intently. I was gonna say when he, if he steps out and looks at me, there's literally just four of me, and we're just like violently shaking back and forth because <laughs> I'm so blurry looking. There's exit combat mode. <laughs> Uh, I just want to love you, buddy. He, like, turns to this, like, robot, and he's like, is that thing from the Capitol or something? Uh, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn that off. Boop, boop, boop. Detective Nakamura, private eye. I do, uh, private peacekeeping out here. Outside the city bounds. This guy, like, he then suddenly yells out, like, Hey, uh, I know there are other people hiding out there. You can come out now. And these other two NBCs eventually make their way outside, too. Move that one so it's not on the line. There we go. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, um, unless they have something else to say. Unless they have something else to say when they all come out. Um, we're just gonna gather these do, idiots do, do, up do. and move on. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of attention to, even though he's not active, so he is, there's a lot of, these two are like looking, glancing over that way a little yep. bit more, naturally. He just kind of sticks out very much so in that way, in the obvious way. And behold, the mighty yes. Batterhorn, who slaughtered a great deal of them. People of Syndic... We 
come from a different kind of organization than the police of the city. And we are here to help. Who keeps throwing in that random NPC thing, token? Fine. Oh, I see you trying to find something. <laughs> Yes, we are here to help, so long as you aren't cannibals. You're <laughs> Well, we're not cannibals, but, um... They were, if well, I can't keep on the But, I mean, if I see a good piece of human meat, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a cannibal, but... Can, can I watch his mouth as he's looking at the corpses? Does it salivate? <laughs> no, but he. Thank it does seem it's more so looking at Solius in a like, what are the like? What is that though? Not in a way like, oh, I'm gonna eat that thing, but it's like, what is that thing? That is your your friend, and today he saved your life. I. Okay. And there's more of us out here. Like I said, if you ever needed to get into contact with uh, someone that can... S if someone's using <laughs> their strength or their power to oppress or hurt others, let us know. Will do. Gypsy, you talked just... about us. Leaving, yeah. leaving these cannibals aside like vigilantes and now I can't stop thinking about Fleetwood and like a green hornet like <laughs> <laughs> vigilante suit <laughs> hey if he wants to he can do that like, the, the Dr. Nagamore is just trying to increase the l level of goodwill towards creatures in the, way, in the outside the city lands with like a giant X on the front, and maybe give the city a little. It's almost like we're some kind of X people, <laughs> X folks, <laughs> X dudes, <laughs> X guys. <laughs> Alright. Uh, once once ever once these guys are all um bound up, uh let's make sure do we have any do any of these people need any medical attention? Uh for the most part no. They they seem all settled in that regard. Also it begins to slowly like from like the feet first just start sticking this guy into his chest cavity and he just yeah, keeps I was going like an Arthur carry. <laughs> <laughs> How large is your chest cavity? How big are you? <laughs> just keeps going and, like it's like his whole body's in there, it's just his head is sticking out. So it's like a suit. It's like a <laughs> He's like Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> I could fit more in there, honestly. I just don't want them to die. <laughs> did you just... Did you... Did you just... Spring trap suit this guy? <laughs> just... Do you want me to put the others in here as well? N no. Uh, we can carry... Solius can carry the other two. I, I'm, I'm flavor texting, it, but it's a it's a bag of holding essentially. But I'm flavor texting it. It's in my oh, table. it's a bag of hold oh, so we actually can hold these guys. I yeah. just imagine. I didn't know. I, I wasn't sticking his head in there because then he'd die. All oh, right, because he needs to be able to breathe. I just <laughs> yeah, I just imagined him Wally style compressing this dude into a meat cube and pooping him out. Oh my gosh. Wait, so yeah, I guess Yeah, if you stick the three of them together with the webbing, then you could just have their three heads poking out the end of the bag of holding. Start grabbing another guy and just pulling him in. And it's just like a bundle it's a bundle of evil doers. So yeah, just write down write down bundle of three evildoers in your in your bag of holding. 
and we'll drop them off at the city and we'll go north to up there to the city. Lower house. Oh god, we need to get him out of his stomach of holding Posh! Posh! <laughs> Prepare some kind of message. <laughs> I think this is the message. <laughs> uh, 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 hold on. I feel the need to give birth. <laughs> <laughs> which, 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 which one of our characters is the most artistic? Oh. <laughs> How do you touch that? I don't know. Is Cortez is 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 uh, silver? Fleetwood does music. Fleetwood does music. Is silver is any good with uh? uh I, I know. I, I already know what Batterhorn would say. Batter Batterhorn would say, "Oh, I, I, I could spell real good." I mean, I could make an attempt and needlessly waste my luck point. Oh, excellent. I still have all three. <laughs> hey. well, please, by all means. All right. Uh, Make I don't us even, an incredible... I don't even have any uh, any tools to do. I'm only proficient with thieves tools. <laughs> Note to tape to them. I'm to proficient with alchemist supplies, thieves tools, and tinker tools. Uh, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Tom? We're making a note. We're we're like we're trying to like put together our like artistic skills to like create the the note that they would l be left behind attached to these guys. Um, so did, uh, uh, um. <sighs> Unless you can think of something cooler than there's just a note attached to them. I don't know, we could, like, put a... Maybe, maybe Tally could spin a web Charlotte's web style? <laughs> or what about, what about, like, an arcane mark? What, what about just, like, a big message? What about, rather than some a little thing attached to them, what if it's just written in the ground? Like, scorched uh, into the ground or something? Like Syndicate Daredevil! <laughs> yeah, Syndicate X. The, the detective who comes to, uh, to collect these cannibals drops his cigarette... And a giant X gets burned into the ground right where he... <laughs> I'm, uh, well, there, yeah, there it is. Uh, I actually... Oh, yeah, oh, I'm remembering now the Ben Affleck. Yeah. With the D, D that are on fire. I forgot about that. I'm proficient in calligraphy supplies. Fuck what? Yeah. yeah, let's go! You can Do use... it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have you write a big message, big enough that it could be seen from the top of the wall down. It says, "You just got X'd, Syndicate X." Yeah, I just the most fancy like scrawl text possible. S Syndicate X can Syn Syndicate X protects. <laughs> I, I do I do such things in the most fancy. So so that's what we're going to do once we get up there. We're going to we're going to travel back north through the slums to the city outskirts. I don't know how long that'll take. All right, but I do think that that is something that should incorporate the entire party. So I do think that since this was going to be a shorter session anyway, that that's where we should end it. Because I think that that's just going to be too much fun to reveal that level of information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything? Okay. But what Syndicate X protects? Not yeah. to be confused with Syndicate X, formerly Twitter. Syndicate X Men. Syndicate. Oh, wait, no, not legally, legally distinct. No relation. Syndicate Shreks. Syndicate Shreks. <laughs> no. <laughs> X yeah. marks the spot. 
Uh, I happen to be proficient in quite a, a quite a array of tools: calligraphy, cooks, forgery, jewelers, smiths, thieves, and tinkers. Yeah, you're an artificer. Rub it in. That's pretty cool. Though. <laughs> Dude, what if you used like the calligraphy with like spray paint, and we just spray painted a massive mural? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'll use that with my all with the forgery as well. I will literally copy that amazing artist's style. <laughs> Just or, it, it, or hold on, it could say X go give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, may, if, maybe not X go give it to you. What if what if it was the the silhouette of our character's Super Sentai style, all posing <laughs> no! with our arms X'd. That's okay. No, we don't need to attach it to our characters in particular. Oh. Down downloading file, Banksy's art directory. Although, maybe, you know what? I like the idea of maybe the silhouette of, uh, of, uh, Batterhorn. Ooh. As like a symbol of like this is what's protect this is what can protect you. Nice, nice. Since he's like the most prominently creature among us, nice. visually speaking. Are we making him as our mascot? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's yeah, he's a symbol. Did, that that did kind of happen with the uh, with the uh, Zexus Rex and making the toy. He did kind of make a little thing, if you remember that one. Oh. Yeah, and plus, wasn't he the one that stopped the bus? Yep. Yeah. Opened the bus up. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, I think maybe... I'm sorry, <laughs> Batterhorn, you might be propaganda, bud. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream at this point. Alright, All right. next time. Oh. Holy crap, I can't believe I thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was flying by the seat of my pants there, but it ended up on this cool idea. Dude, that's gonna be fucking hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> In other news, <laughs> in other news, uh, a group of cannibals <laughs> was apprehended today <laughs> by the most unlikely of a mysterious faction known as Syndicate X. Uh, Arthur, you said you did have the uh, the uh, which one was it for the artistry? Uh, calligraphy. It, it's it's for like fancy writing, essentially, like you know, medieval style fucking like scroll text. What proficiency so, uh, does that fall <laughs> under? Is that I have no idea. I would. So, I'd... um, technically, what, what's your highest stat? I would. I not personally because it, you have to be like real fucking like real gentle with calligraphy, and like it's like. Real smooth lines, I would think, like, uh, something dexterity based. But... Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So oh, I, was just saying, well, I I think uh, it's I think it's your strongest skill. What what's your strongest attribute? Just real quick uh, under the table. <laughs> I mean, I would I would give it to, to a sleight of hand, which is a plus five. So what's your highest attribute? Here is... Arcana, which is a plus seven. No, you're... yeah, it, it's kind of you know it's kind of like Arcana. So, with, <laughs> you know, with toolkits, you generally just add your proficiency mod or your proficiency uh, modifier to them. Yeah, tool toolkits. The DM decides what attribute you use, and then you apply your proficiency. <coughs> I mean, I was gonna give advantage anyway, because this nice. is awesome. <laughs> so it's not just batter a picture of Batterhorn. It's Batterhorn done in Middle English calligraphy. So there's going to be it's, a... It, so it's going to be a snail like, somewhere in there. 
It's like the silhouette, the silhouette with the heads, the mu muscular arms, the big horns, and is a Syndicate X protects. And then it's got these three guys all webbed up. What if the horns for like cross to form the X? I don't know if that works. Damn. It wouldn't be recognizable anymore. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's not bad, though. Trying my best. So recovering from, <laughs> from shit. All right. God, that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> but what if we... <laughs> what if... <laughs> I was like, it was like totally, we were just like being stupid, and I was like, but wait. <laughs> and then you have, you're like, this is going to be a stupid idea, but then it turns into a really good idea. <laughs> then it turns into a not stupid idea. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, I'm going to turn off recording for now. Okay, we just hit the hour mark. Alright, five, four, three, two, one.